Conversation with the Atlantean Children of the Law of One. Part 10. Accessing Your Cosmic Memories. Side note. A reader posed these questions, and I appreciate her curiosity. If you have any questions of your own, please feel free to ask them in the comments. By asking questions, we can all learn from each other. Many of the suppressed memories in DNA serve to prevent these ancient malevolent entities from accessing and influencing you. Could you share more of the suppressed memories in DNA? Are these their innate powers and gifts that can be activated upon awakening and transforming? Understanding the mechanism of your DNA demands an expanded perspective. The DNA you see through a microscope is but a snapshot in a continuous flow of events and the passage of time. Instead of delving into the past to discover your origins, observe your present behavior. Your actions and thoughts are encoded patterns from the past that predict your future moves. To unlock these patterns and the suppressed aspects of yourself, look within your society at the topics and events lurking in the periphery, the blind spots that societal norms shun. The more you pursue them, the more they seem to elude you. To access them, embrace the principle of, let it be, understanding that any moving object will eventually find its place of rest where it is most comfortable. Your very lifestyle suppresses these memories as your minds are cluttered with elements that repel these memories, branding them as mere fantasies. Recall that the children of the Law of One eventually employed the technique of solitary isolation to transcend this realm. Every individual emits a vibrational frequency based on their innermost thoughts and emotions, whether consciously recognized or not. These emanations create a field around them, which can subtly interfere with your personal cultivation. For instance, while contemplating spiritual gifts, you may find yourself in a workplace filled with individuals holding differing beliefs. If their core beliefs do not resonate at a similar frequency to yours, two outcomes are possible. If you can maintain your focus despite their differences, they might instinctively oppose you or become curious about your beliefs. Conversely, if they overpower your convictions, your cultivated energy can be disrupted. Mass consciousness intensifies these energetic fields, often causing ancient memories to quickly fade due to inner conflicts that do not align with one's social circle and physical environment. The mechanisms of suppression were originally put in place for a good reason, to deter individuals from contemplating subjects that attract malevolent entities. However, this blocking also hinders access to other spiritual abilities, making such memory retrieval available only to trained or prepared individuals with strong minds. This has resulted in a lifestyle where these inherent abilities are present in all but accessible by few. Therefore, it is advisable to seek a spiritual guardian who can guide you into these new frontiers of reality. There are many unpleasant entities encountered upon awakening, and proper initiation and guidance are essential to avoid these negative encounters. As for us, the children of the Law of One, we do not assist in such endeavors unless one is a member of our order, and there is a valid reason for this restriction. It is also worth mentioning that this process resulted in the need for human flesh and blood consumption to sustain our avatars in this realm. Does this imply they were the Draculas and vampires at that phase in time? Remember that much of your literature, art, and fictional work is born from memories of ancient events. However, the mechanisms of suppression often distort these memories into fictional tales or fantasies. Had these artists taken ample time to investigate the origins of these ideas, they would have realized that they are based on these distant memories. The cosmic memories encoded within your DNA are awakened by analogous patterns of events. These memories aren't preserved through numbers or words, they're preserved holistically. Therefore, triggering these memories becomes straightforward when you observe familiar patterns from the past. Extreme situations can fundamentally change a person, and hold this transformative power because these past, future or alternate events simultaneously exists, in parallel worlds alongside your present moment. By attuning to the vibrations of these events, one can access them, as vibrations refer to similar patterns, whether physical, mental, or emotional. Understanding the consumption of flesh and blood is rooted in our interference with the natural frequencies of earthly consciousness. When we refer to earthly consciousness, we encompass similar worlds to yours, not limited to one planet. Our interference disrupted these natural frequencies, 
leading the earthly consciousness to reject us due to disparities in density and frequency. Blood, seemingly straightforward, is intricately designed to harmonize with the densities of this realm. Whether it's from an animal or a human, discerning the difference in blood can be challenging without closer examination. Blood acts as a binding force among the realm's inhabitants, maintaining their thoughts and minds within the boundaries of this realm. For those like us who originated from beyond this realm, consuming blood served as a means to anchor ourselves to this world. This practice continues in secrecy today, but it's essential to clarify that the consumption of blood doesn't grant superpowers. Rather, it acts as a canoe to keep one afloat in the ocean of this realm while without it, one would simply sink down. The concept of vampires emerged from the legends of supernatural beings who possessed extraordinary abilities and sustained themselves by consuming human blood. These beings often operated in the shadows, and the reason for their nocturnal habits ties back to the significant influence of the sun on your reality. And these legends are presently occurring at these fringes of your reality parallel to your world where in essence most of entities that are not of this realm must consume blood to maintain their existence on this realm. Therefore, these legends are not only limited to our physical manifestation but is an ongoing phenomenon during entrance and exit of foreign entities. The sun, which you witness every day, wields substantial power over your world. What you perceive as light is just the initial stage of the physical substance's manifestation. Your world as part of a solar system, is constantly upheld by the sun's radiation and its gravity, thus projecting your reality. So, what you perceive as the sun, is a mere segment of an unseen entire spectrum and processes a physical manifestation of your entire reality. The sun's electromagnetic waves act as a sort of oasis for your reality, transitioning from lighter particles to denser particles. If the sun were suddenly removed, your reality would gradually disintegrate as all physical materials would lose the foundational root energy. These foundational root energies maintain every item's or object's structure and physical appearance and are constantly nourished by the unseen sun's energies. Given that our physical bodies weren't naturally attuned to these vibrational frequencies, our avatars, during their early manifestations, often sought out shade and avoided direct sunlight. The sun's emanating energy had the potential to disrupt our physical forms.